What's going on guys? Yesterday, October 22nd, Apple released their latest version of OS X dubbed Mavericks. This isn't an entirely new or you know revolutionary version of OS X, but it does bring a lot of nice features that Mountain Lion didn't have. There's some lower level things such as better memory management, there's better dual display support, and you know, with all that said, I believe they touted over 200 new features right here. One thing that I really want to stress is that this is a free upgrade, which has never been done before. There's never been a desktop operating system, Linux aside, that has been free. So this is a huge step forward for Apple, and I think it's going to push people like <coughs> Microsoft, <coughs> excuse me, uh, ahead of you know not charging $200 for an operating system. But with all that aside, this is going to be a video showing you guys how to set up a Mavericks installer for your Hackintosh. Now there's a couple things that I do want to say. The first being that this drive that you create is not Hackintosh only. This will work on a real Mac as well. So say for example you downloaded Mavericks and you actually want to do a fresh installation on a real Mac, you can use this drive that we'll make today to do that on not only your Hackintosh but also on a real Mac. The next thing I want to say is that just a few days ago on this very channel, I showed you guys how to create a OS X Mavericks GM or Gold Master USB flash drive as well. If you follow that video, that method can be used in place of this method, but what I'm going to be showing you today is pretty much just a, you know, a one-stop shop method that's going to do that entire video in one step. That method is a lot more involved and honestly I think it's kind of fun and if you've never created it before and you're looking to learn a few things about how the OS X installer is actually created things like that, then that video will still work for the App Store version of Mavericks. So with that out of the way, I'm going to get right into the video. You are going to need a couple things for this video. The first one being obviously the OS X Mavericks app. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click free download here. This being a free operating system is just absolutely amazing in my eyes. But once you download it, which is a 5.29 gigabyte download, so it will take some time. But once it does download, it'll be right here in your applications folder and that's where it has to remain. Don't copy it to your desktop or your downloads folder or anything. Leave it right in your applications folder. The next thing we're going to need is a copy of UniBeast and a copy of MultiBeast. Now for Mavericks, Tony Mac has actually updated these utilities. So as you can see right here, we have UniBeast 3.0. This is going to be the only one that's capable of creating a drive from the Mavericks installer. So if you have UniBeast 2.x, it will not work with Mavericks. That's only for Mountain Lion or Lion. Very similarly, we have the new MultiBeast update. This is Mavericks 6.0. Older versions of MultiBeast will work on Mavericks. For example, I've used pretty much every version in the 5.x and it's worked just fine. So this isn't an absolute necessity, but from the looks of it, it does have a like a newer interface, so that could be pretty nice to use. So I would always just recommend getting the latest version of MultiBeast. So if you haven't, go ahead and download both of those. Like I showed you guys, I have both of them right here. Last but not least, you're going to need some kind of an installation media. Uh, as you can see right up here, I do have a flash drive. This is a 16 gigabyte flash drive. You can use an 8 gigabyte flash drive or like a hard drive partition. I recommend a flash drive just because it's mobile and you could take it to, you know, from machine to machine. Like I said, you could even use it on a real Mac, which a lot of people don't know, but I actually have done it quite a few times and it works perfectly. But whatever you decide to go with, make sure it's at least 8 gigabytes in size. So the first thing you have to do, like I said, is download the OS X Mavericks app. Once that's in your applications folder, you can go ahead and close out of the app store. And now what we're going to do is we're going to format this flash drive. Before you format it, be sure that anything that's on there is backed up that you don't want to lose because you will lose all data when you format it. So to format it, we're going to open up Disk Utility. Once that opens, we're going to come to Flash Drive here. We're going to make this a Mac OS Extended Journal Partition. And I'm going to call it UniBeast just so I don't get confused. I'll always know what it is. We're going to click Erase. Click Erase one more time. And now we're done with Disk Utility. So now we can come up here and close Disk Utility. Now pro tip, this right here is a clean drive. There's nothing on it. What I would do really quick is actually copy MultiBeast to the drive. This is something that you don't have to do, but I found that it's actually very helpful. Once you do a clean installation, you are going to have to use it. There's pretty much no way around that, even if you only need to install the bootloader. And to have this right here, to not have to re-download it once you're actually in Mavericks is actually very convenient. So I always recommend just copying MultiBeast or UniBeast or whatever applications you want to install right to your installation media because it makes it very easy to find. So now what I'm going to do is close out of this and this right here is what puts my other video to shame because all we're going to have to do now is run UniBeast. There's no copying kernel extensions or extracting packages, there's nothing like that in this video. All you do is you click continue a couple times, you agree to some awesome terms. We're going to locate our installer drive that we just created, in my case UniBeast. We're going to click continue. 
And on this screen, you simply select the OS that you're going to be installing. Like I said, this is the first version from Tony Mac that actually supports Mavericks. And that's what this video is all about. So I'm going to, I'm going to select Mavericks. That's a pretty good bet for this video. Uh, you can select laptop support if you're trying a laptop. Personally, I'm not. Legacy USB support. I actually know of no one in person that has a, a socket 1156 motherboard. So um, I'm not even going to select that. I'm simply going to select Mavericks 10.9 and you're probably going to want to do the same thing if you're on a desktop. So after that, we're going to click continue, install. We're going to throw in that extremely secure password and now we wait. It's important to note that this progress bar is absolutely nowhere near accurate. And it's very possible that even right now this says less than a minute, this could get up to like eight hours. I mean, I've seen some ridiculous times on here, but that's just not accurate. It typically takes anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the speed of your flash drive. So you'll definitely want to allocate some time to that. But if you feel that this just isn't doing anything, trust me, it is. And if you really want to monitor it, you can actually open up your drive here and you'll see that it's already added some folders and whatnot. So simply give it 10 or 15 minutes and it'll be done before you know it. Once the UniBeast app has finished creating the flash drive, you're going to see something that looks like this. It's going to say the installation was successful and you can simply click close. And if you open up your UniBeast drive, you'll now see that those folders from earlier are now hidden. They're not here, which is what you want. It'll look like there's just this one file. Now keep in mind, you might say, oh, well, uh, why don't I just copy and, you know, just copy that on there. That's not how it works. It actually does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. And if, like I said, if you want to know what it actually does, feel free to watch my Mavericks GM video. But in terms of what it takes to create the bootable flash drive, you're done. UniBeast did literally everything for you. Now all we do is leave this drive in, reboot the computer, and see what happens. Once the machine reboots, boot from the installation drive you just created, and at the Chimera bootloader selection, make sure you select the name of the installation drive. Personally, my Haswell system required no kernel flags, but your system might. Once you're inside the installer, simply perform an installation like always. Format the target drive using Disk Utility for a clean install, or simply install right over the existing installation to perform an upgrade. Once the installation is complete, you'll need to boot back into the UniBeast drive we created, this time selecting the new installation at the bootloader selection screen. Depending on the compatibility of your system and the amount of kernel flags you need to enter, you should boot right up into Mavericks. From here, simply run MultiBeast and be on your way to a fully functional system. Be sure to let me know if this video helped you by giving that like button a quick slap. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and be sure to stay tuned to my channel for tons more Haswell and Hackintosh content.